that uh, green, lush scene, isn't it? So this is what's unfolded inside our venue. Born by Chochuang with a 35 minute win in women's singles, as did Busnan Ombang Rum Fan in the second women's singles. So Thailand go two love up in the overall tie. Next up is the third women's singles between Pitapeon Chaiwan, the world number 31 from Thailand, who takes on Anya Setien, an 18 year old from San Sebastian. 308 in the world. So it's another lopsided look on the order of play in terms of world rankings. Here is Pitiapon Chiawan from Thailand, world number 31, followed out by 18 year old Anya Setien. They really have gone for the youngsters this time. 1 meter 67 from San Sebastian. Some good junior results throughout her career. Tell you more in a second. First meeting between these two. Okay, so Chowan won the coin toss and elected to receive, I think it was. So again, a very young match. This player just uh, 18, her opponent 20 years of age. Interesting, isn't it? It's normally the youngest that's first onto court and just keen to get underway. Slightly elder player normally making them wait. Almost to establish a little mental authority before the start of the match. Here's Pity upon Chiawan. 1 meter 64, world number 31. There has been a couple of spots higher at 29. But 2019 was a great year for her. Bronze medalist at the World Junior Champs. She was the Syed Modi runner up to Carolina Marin. She lost in the final 21 12, 21 16 in that Syed Modi final. Won a couple of titles though in 2019 as well, the Spanish International and the Azerbaijan International as well. Plus a couple of semi-final showings as well. So a really good year 2019 when she hit that high of 29 in the world. What of her young opponent here? Well, it's her from San Sebastian, 307 in the world. Got a finalist at the Spanish International this year, back in mid-June. And, uh, well, she lost to Aditi Bhatt of India on Sunday in 34 minutes, 21-16, 21-14 did Anya. And she's made the second round of women's singles and won the women's doubles with Lucia Rodriguez, who we just saw at the Mexican International Challenge event in uh, the beginning of September. She also won singles and doubles of the Spanish Junior Open with Lucia. Ready to play. The Junior International Series event. That was in the back end of August of this year. So she's had some good junior results. And now she's transitioning, as was Lucia, into the seniors. But it's tough to call how this one will pan out. We know that she's lost her opening singles to Adita Bhatt as I mentioned but no shame there lost that one and the tie went well they lost the tie on the back of that going 1-3 down and then 2-3 in the end to India did the Spaniards but can she go one better today it's going to be a tough ask though against the world number 31 and this is why the ties have done so well making the final here in the last showing in 2018 in Bangkok the impact arena of course Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, because of their Spain, depth, represented by Anya Setien. And on my left, Thailand, represented by 
Taiwan, Taiwan. Spain to serve. Lavo. Play. Chowan beat Lauren Middleton of Scotland 21 12 21 3 here on Sunday. Just needing 22 minutes to get to victory against uh, Lauren. Oh, that's a beautiful cross now. From young Anya Setia. 3 1. Chowan also was only used once in the Sudaman Cup and she they played against Finland. She downed the 15-year-old Nella Nickfist 21-6-21-6 in 18 Six minutes. Two, in the three. show court one that was in Vanta a couple of weeks ago now. Good hustling from Anya Setin. Unlucky with the net lift there. The net take getting in the way for the Spaniard. Easy smash kill for Chihuahua. Oh, nicely done. Good straight smash. Oh, 
lovely little cross snap there from Chawan. Nine, six. Smooth and composed. And tough to read. Well, five minutes or so have elapsed, and this one going many the way the way that many would have expected. Frankly, 11-7 to the mid-game interval goes Chowan of Thailand. exposing a really young team today. We've just had 17-year-old Lucia Rodriguez on court and now the first sighting of Anya Setien. And it all bodes well. They might not come through here. In fact, it looks highly unlikely. But it's all about the future. It might take them a few years to rebuild. So we had no indication of why Beatrice Corrales didn't uh, contest this tie. And didn't, she didn't seem to be injured in the India match on Sunday. But you never know, she might have done something in practice. Who knows? There's been nothing documented about it. So we're kind of blind to the reason why that happened. But they've gone for an entirely young team here. And the two youngsters will be playing doubles as well. Wonderful touch from the poor Chawan. Oh, she was controlling the net so nicely there as well, wasn't she? Just a little nonchalant on that final shot from the tie.
Oh, she's found the back line with that. Beautifully positioned. 18, Impeccable 18. feel. Lovely soft hands from Chowan. And she's won seven out of the last eight points now. Really has the momentum. 19, All the answers at the moment for Pitiapon Chawan. Twelve game points. Game. First game won by Thailand. Two to one. Well, a ten minute affair that opening game, twenty one points to eight. Hit upon Chowan secures it in some style. That was uh, really fast, wasn't it? Very well played from the Thai athlete. Can the Spaniard put up more resistance in game two? So has Anya Setin managed to dig deep into that kit bag and she finds something to trouble. Show one. Quick to bounce all over that. She's come rocketing out of the blocks again, as she did in the opening game. Chow on. But there always seems to be a little chink, doesn't there? So far in the first two women's singles that we saw, there was a little window of opportunity for the Spaniards. And about this kind of stage, but no let up so far from Pitiapon. Rock solid. 
She's not in compassionate mood, that's for sure. No charity available at the moment. Again, the shot quality from the Thai athlete, that little bit more consistently precise, that's the issue, isn't it? Stripping her opponent of any time or space, and look at that, everything's at full stretch, isn't it, for Anya Setin. But it's all a learning process, just 18 years of age. Well, left-hander probably bases her game on that of Carolina Marins, you would imagine. Can't be far on if you can uh, model somebody like that. Really good points from Anya Sachin. Clara Azamendi there in the stands, watching, supporting, all important. Part of the role of the team. It's all how you, you know, how you get on as a team player. You've got to add, bring a little bit more. It's, there's no I in team. You've got to give back as much as you possibly can. And that means practicing with various players, mixing it up, socializing, keeping the team vibe up. Positive supporting from the back of the court. Nine, four. Well, a lucky little nibble off the top of the net court there for Chowan. quality from Chaiwan and of course she's liberated because she's got the lead and because of that she can find more expansive parts of her game you'd imagine she's turning the screw a little bit tighter right now here's Chaiwan and uh, it's a game and an 11-5 advantage in game two after 18 minutes of time bossing this one
Wonderful little clip down there, really nicely done from Anya. Got it to drop nice and quickly. Well, the intent was good. foot to the floor here there's been very little in terms of lapsing and that is uh, very apparent on the scoreboard young 18 year old Spaniard here denied any more than a run of two throughout the course of this match so far by Chowan It's a fabulous play, isn't it? Really very deceptive, high skill level, a high consistency level within that as well. Every bit the world number 31 she is, playing some very tidy badminton. Quality again from Chowan. He's kept her opponent in a stranglehold today and she's just squeezing. There's no respite for the young Spaniard. Ah, there we are. Perhaps a little greedy there. <laughs> As I mention it, suddenly a little weakening in the grip of Chowan. though from the world number 31 18, 10. three points away now from victory and she's kept her foot to the floor very heavily as Chowan She's had most of the answers today. Yes. Pitiapon Chowan. 
showing all of her experience and authority on this badminton court. Totally orchestrating affairs out here on show court one was Pichipon Chawan, the 20 year old right hander looking very, very assured. A convincing win for the Thai athlete coming through 21 8, 21 11 in uh, 25 minutes. Very assured and very dictatorial. She didn't let her opponent win a single run of three points, and that is fairly mercenary. Very disciplined and uh, demonstrating a lot of good front running capabilities there. Very gracious in victory. Uh, an emphatic win for Chawa over Setien of Spain. So Thailand, three match wins to the good. So they've secured the overall victory then, but still we go on. We're bringing you back to back women's doubles Up next, it's going to be Super Jurikun and Tera Tanachai of Thailand as the second women's doubles pairings to go up against Evora and Claudia Lille of Spain. Well, welcome back. Here's the Ceres Park. It's the home arena for the football club, AGF, and the handball club here in Orgas. And the Ceres Arena, of course, with a capacity of around 5,000 spectators is the uh, city's largest sports hall. So multi-faceted exhibition hall type of venue and uh, plenty of facilities around for outdoor sports. In this beautiful Marcellus Ball forest setting, just five minutes from the highway, easily accessible by Europe. It's just a, a beautiful spot in the world. 